Hi everyone and welcome back to the happy heart. I'm so glad that you guys came over today um, to see this new video. I have my son with me and we are going to talk about the five Netflix shows that I watch with my child. So I thought it would be only fitting that my son be in the video. I feel a little awkward because what if these people haven't seen these shows before? They probably haven't and what if it's count as spoiling for them? It's okay, we won't spoil too much, we promise. It's like the story and stuff. If you guys haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I usually upload content about three times a week and as fast as I'm making content, I'm trying to get it out to you guys. So on to the shows that I have watched with my child. I know as parents, it's really hard to know what shows to watch that are appropriate and also what shows don't drive you crazy as a parent, right? Because isn't there lots of times where I, you were like, Let me, let's watch this and I'm like, I don't wanna watch that. There's also times where you think a show's good, then there's just some inappropriate stuff in there. Mm -hmm. We've had to like turn stuff off. I'm like, oh, this is the one I thought it was. <laughs> so I thought this would be a really good video to give you guys some insight into what worked at least for us at, in our household. Um, I know that everybody's um, moral compass is a little bit different. I know that everybody has a little bit um, different ways that life should be in general. So um, this is just our opinions and um, make of it what you will. So the first show that we watch together that we love is... Still watching it. Still watching it. The Flash. The Flash. I found The Flash on Netflix a couple of years ago. And ever since then, we've liked it. Any time that Netflix has updated and there have been new episodes, it's always a big deal, right? Yeah. Yeah. So how many seasons? There is now currently four. Four seasons on Netflix. And it is based on the comic book character, The Flash. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's pretty clean. There's not a lot of like references. There's not a lot of like sexuality. There's not anything like that. It's just kind of a fun superhero, good over the, the four seasons, there's really only a few times that we've noticed that they say anything that we've questioned because we kind of worry about language in our house a little bit. Yeah. And um, so there's maybe a handful of times that they've said like a couple inappropriate things, but it's almost not, in, it's not anywhere near what most people would think. So... So we really like the story, we really get into it. It always leaves us on a cliffhanger, we want more. It's always interesting. And um, if, you're into, <coughs> if your kid is into science or anything like that, The Flash is awesome. And because we- Because they're scientists. That's true. And we always enjoy it, it's always a big deal in our house. Our next show that we've watched on Netflix that um, we really, really liked is Fuller House. Fuller House. Now, this is a show that because I watched Full House when I was a kid, I was curious to watch it. I've watched all the seasons and episodes too because we have it on DVD and it's also on Hulu. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and I've watched it over and over again and really liked it. And um, it's something that I can watch with him that isn't terribly interesting to me but it's not um it's it's okay i don't feel like i want to rip my eyes out or there's like musical singing or you know all those things you, you guys like, you guys know what i'm talking about you don't like musical singing who doesn't <sighs> see see and um it's always it's good clean fun it's um it's a comedy series so yeah and um, there's a little bit that um, kind of, it's not as clean as the original Full House, I would say, but compared to most things on TV, it's not anywhere near. Very emotional, just like the first one, just like Full House, very emotional. The next one that we watch together is... Hmm. Greenhouse 
Greenhouse Academy? Greenhouse Academy. This was a show actually, I was looking for something to watch one night and it came up and I thought, oh, I'm gonna try this. And I started watching it and I just stopped. I was like, oh, he will love to watch this with me. I have to wait. And cause it was late and he had already went to sleep. So the next day I said, I have this new show. Let's watch this new show. And did you like it? Uh-huh, yeah. It was, it's a really good show. There's two seasons out on Netflix. It's a Netflix original. And I really thought it was just gonna be like this show about these two kids going to greenhouse to go into this academy called Greenhouse. I did not know it was gonna end up on how fun it was when we watched it. I did not know it was gonna be like that. It was it's actually really fun. It's about um some kids that are kind of going to a elite kind of uh, private-ish school, I guess you could say, and you have to like get into this school and um, it's all their different adventures, but there's also like a mystery, like there's some kind of mystery going on that is involving basically like the whole school and the adults and um, it was really fun to watch. There wasn't anything bad. There wasn't anything um, terrible in it. Um, I mean, there some was. of the people like some of the characters because it's like a high school show, so um, they're in high school, so they like kiss or something like <laughs> that. But that's it's not it's not crazy or anything like that. Ah, mm. I forgot. So it has all this kind of like crazy technology in it because it's supposed to be like a technology kind of based school, and um, we like all that geeky stuff. Let me tell you, don't we? We're superhero nerds. I mean, they they got a little science in it, so yeah, we're superhero nerds. That's for sure. <laughs> the next show that we watch on Netflix that we really like and have really enjoyed is Lost in Space. Lost in Space, and this is kind of a takeoff of Lost in Space. I want to say it was in the '80s, early night. I'm not sure. It's about a family who basically gets lost in space and they crash on a planet that is similar to Earth and kind of their adventures on this planet and things like that. There's three children in the family. And so the younger boy ends up finding a robot through a series of events and the robot is programmed to inherently protect him. So the robot kind of protects the family or protects um, them from a lot of other things. This was a show that I kind of had to convince him to watch, actually. Just the title of it to me was just like, why would I want to watch this? It's just, it's going to be about a family who's just playing cards in a ship lost in space. And once we started watching it, you really liked it though, right? Yeah, I, I refused used for you to watch it without me. This is true. And we stayed up really late one night and finished the whole thing. And it's only one season out and... I think like maybe like 20 episodes. I don't even think it's that. It might be like 13. So I think they have a second season I think on the way from what I understand. But it was pretty clean and it was... Um, it definitely had cliffhangers. You wanted to see what would happen. And if definitely. you're a fan of space at all or anything like that, you'll like it. And it's a, it was really fun, huh? Definitely the last episode was a cliffhanger. I mean, if you're going to make another season, like, cliffhanger. That's what Netflix does to you. It sucks. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so our last Netflix show that... Um, we have watched together and really enjoyed is Stranger Things. So actually this has been out for a while, but um, at our church we had a series and it was called Stranger Things and it was about um, the strange things that are in the Bible and things like that. And it was a really interesting series, but um, he was like, Mom, have you ever seen that show? And I'm like, no. So we decided to come home one day and watch it after church and tell him what you tell him what's about. Um, it's about this um it's 
about this kid who goes missing. Mm-hmm. Uh, by like some alien weird flower plant thingy. Very weird. Called the Demi Gormo, I think. Um, and his friends and the parents, they all they're all like trying to find him and trying to figure out what's going on. And like there's really good actors in it. Winona Ryder plays the kid who went missing's mother. She does a really, really good job. And it's about these little, little kids. Like, probably, I think they're in middle school. Yeah, they're in middle school. Yeah. And it's about them um, kind of being a part of the investigation and really trying to find their friend and find out what happens. Well, and- really, they're like kicked out of the investigation. Like, you know, this is too serious. I don't think you should be a part of this investigation. It's too scary type thing. Kind of like the show. And like, they just like sneak in, they like sneak off and like do the investigation kind of. Yeah, so it's a really fun show for kids because it's, you know, as we all remember being children, you know, parents tell you, oh, you don't know, or adults will tell you, oh, you don't know, we know because we're adults, and then these kids are the ones really um, making progress. Like and, figuring it out. Yeah, and so it's really interesting, definitely has a lot of twists and turns and cliffhangers, and... Um, left us wanting to like watch the next one, watch the next one. So that was actually really fun to watch together. Also, there's a superhero in it. Don't give away too many spoilers. I did it. That, not a real superhero though. So just what? Who's in it? Eleven. Is she kind of a superhero? She can move things with her mind. Oh, okay, we just confirmed. There is a kind of a crazy person that has powers that is very essential to the story. So it makes the story a lot more interesting because you're trying to figure out their story as well. Yeah. But. Like figure out where the superhero type person came from and. Yeah, and how they came to be and stuff like like that. like where was she? How did she become this weird telekinesis Jean Grey type girl. Yeah. So those are our five shows that we have watched together that um, we were fanatically like, you can't watch that without me, and had lots of fun watching. You know that happened. I've even tried to watch The Flash without her. And I'm like, you better not. Mm -mm. That's our show. So. Because, um. Cool. Crazy. Like I said, guys, this is just our opinion and what works with our family. So if these shows um, don't work in your family, um, you do you and we'll do us. Hope we inspired you for some good shows to watch out there. Yeah. And I hope you guys like some of these and tell us how they are and if you watch them with your kids and how your kids like them. So we will see y'all in another brand new video. Thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.